hello after a very long time literally i can't even tell you how long it's been it's been i think absolute months i've had requests from so many people to say grace where are the videos i don't know and but so much has happened in this time we have house um this is my new makeup room let me know if you want to have a little tour let me know if you want to have a little look through all my makeup and i'll go through everything give me a little comment please help and share all my videos guys um now that I've got my proper makeup room all sorted, I'll be able to do videos hopefully weekly. That's my aim, fingers crossed. Today's video is going to be on this look here. I'm classing it as like a lovely summer, um, a summer glow. This time I'm going for fluffy lashes, shimmery eyes, and a bit of a pinky nude lip. Um, let me know. I'm on Snapchat. Um, follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on my Facebook page, I'll put all the links down below. I feel really glad to be back. Um, I'm hoping to do lots of different videos for you and this time I really will um, do them. It's just, it's been quite hard not having a makeup room. Then when I did have it, it wasn't decorated and just this, that and the other. So it's been quite busy. Um, so yeah, we've just moved into our new house at, well, just, I lie. We moved into our house at Christmas. Um, Ian and I and Ralph and we're having an absolutely amazing time we're getting building work done so it might be very noisy on videos I do apologize but yeah um I'm going to be doing a video about my new beauty favorites so please look at that that's going to be following this video a lot of the makeup that I'm using today is a high-end makeup but personally I just think for like that the summery glow I think sometimes you need to spend a bit more on the products that are going to last all day um not all but most how annoying the first day that i actually decide to sit down and film um with my new camera that ian got me for christmas it loses battery like it's my fault really i should have probably charged it but it loses battery halfway through so i'm onto my old camera but i'm sure it's okay so yeah i hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to get this look in particular and let me know what looks you like to have in the future but as you can see i've gone for more of a glow everywhere really not just like glows on the cheeks so let me know so i hope you enjoy this video and i shall see you very soon bye so to begin with i am starting um to take makeup off with the garnier micellar water this is the cleansing water and just some um little pads there I've got it in the big 400ml bottle, but it is really, really good. No scent, just really good for your skin. There's some tunes on there, so excuse my dancing. Then I'm going to be priming my skin with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. 0% alcohol, doesn't burn. Obviously, I'm not shaving, so that's fine. Um, but this is fantastic. If you go on to my favourites video that I'll be uploading soon, it's absolutely incredible, and I'll tell you why. But that's when you wait for it. You wait for it to go sticky and tacky. Put it all into the areas and then you're good to go. I'm also going to kind of be putting two primers on. The next one is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And this is the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. Um, and I'm putting it in all my areas that I kind of want that little bit more of a glow. Then I'm priming my eyes with my usual Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Just putting it across all of my lids. So yeah, we're getting it into all the nooks and crannies and those wrinkles that are all that are coming my way, unfortunately. But yes, then I will be taking the um, Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow Palette. I'm just going to be taking the glow part, the highlighter. I'm just putting it um, in the ridges of my eyebrow, just underneath, to help make that stand out. I will be going back into this section. Also, the angle of my camera isn't great for me, but I will be changing that soon. So using the Naked One palette, I'll be using shade Naked and using that as my transition colour going into the creases and onto the lid of my eye, back and forth and windshield wiper motions and just going into the corners on both eyes and you just do it until you want that shade that you like and again you're not stuck with these colours, you can just use a lighter colour and then go in with the darker and this is what we're going to do here. Use the Naked and then we're going to go in with Book which you can see here, just going to, into the same parts, but not as high, just making sure there's no harsh lines, buffing away all that book and just merging it into the naked colour as well. Again, like I said, just keep going until you get that shade. 
I wanted a little pop of colour and I do quite like an orange. It looks dramatic but it's not at all. It just pops on a bit of photo. It's really, really nice. So with that I'm using the Morphe uh, 35N palette. Then I also thought it would be nice just to have a bit of like a shimmery dark corner and with that I'm using the Naked 2 palette. And excuse me, I am using um, Busted. So I'm just going into the slight parts of the corner and buffing away. Buffing, busted. Book, busted. So many Bs. Um, so yes, I have just gone in there, by the way, with YDK in Naked 2 palette and I'm spraying it with Max Fix Plus. You'll see on this video that I'm not 100% happy with how the colour's coming out. So I'm going back in with a couple of other shimmer shades. Uh, Sidecar and Sin from Naked 1 palette. But again, I'm not 100% happy and I've gone in with a bit of Virgin. I've just gone in with everything basically. Just because I'm not happy with how it's coming out. It's not really coming out into like that fresh, summery, just kind of a bit of a slight smoke look. So with that, um, shortly I'm going to be going in with a bit of a different approach. But here I'm just trying to cover the lid so it's even. You can then just buff away any harsh lines from where you've put your shimmer shade. So yeah, now I'm applying the Too Faced, what are we called, Glitter Glue um, Shadow Primer. And I'm going in now with Sidecar again. But because I've put on the Glitter Primer, it should make this shimmer pop out more, which it did. Which I was happy about, finally. As you can just see, not the best angle here, but as you can see, it is just making that colour pop out more. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want a dark eyelid. Um, I wanted something that was nice and light and a bit more uh, lighter on the eye. So yeah, with this again, I'm just going to be taking it across the lid. Buff away any harsh lines and then take away any excess of makeup off from underneath your eyes. Then I'm going in with my favourite, NARS Sheer Glow. I am in the shade Fiji, light number 5. And I'm using my baby, which is the Marc Jacobs um, face number 3 brush. Buff it into all the areas. I'm not going to show you everything. And then for my eyebrows, shock horror, I am using something different. The Charlotte Tilbury brow lift. I'm still trying to find out whether I like this, but I shall tell you more about that soon. And then to, um, what they call, to set my eyes, I'm using my, Ur my Urban Decay um, brow, what's it called? Brow fix? Um, no, yeah, maybe it's brow fix. Then also I thought because I'm going to put a bit of lashes on, I didn't want to put an eyeliner, like a liquid eyeliner to make it heavy because I didn't want that look. So instead I'm just using the black shade from the Naked 2 palette, the blackout, and I'm just making a slight smoke on the side just to have the perception of a slight bit of eyeliner but not the harshness of the liquid eyeliner. So if you don't like wearing eyeliner then I'd, rec I'd recommend, recommend, recommend that. Um, and that is where my battery went. So I have put on my lashes there. Those are the um, Peaches and Cream number nine lashes. But that I do apologise for. Then I'm using my concealer. And that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I am in vanilla. Into all the areas. I've got quite red cheeks. So I am going quite low. But you just cover the parts that you feel that need that brightening up. And that coverage. Um, and the Cupid's bow I'm using as well. There I'm using the Rosie Huntington Contour Stick and I'm just putting it very lightly in the places that I feel like I need a bit more shadow and I'm using the real, not the real Techniques Grace. I did this last time. I'm using Makeup by HD Brows um, Beauty Sponge which is one of my favourite sponges because of how much the tip is just still perfect and then buffing away underneath my neck. Then I'm going back into the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow Palette now using the Sculpt Powder and with my Real Techniques uh, 100 brush, I'm just going to go and set anywhere that I put that Rosie Huntington contour stick and create that contour, create that shadow underneath my cheekbones and underneath my chin and the tops of my temples. And I'm not going to contour my nose because it's just a light uh, contour. Now I'm using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Blush and Pop, or no, Swish and Pop blusher I'll write the shade down because I can't fully remember what it is I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush for that this is a lovely blusher my sister's got it for me for Christmas it's not a definite pink but it gives you that lovely bronzy pinky glow 
Then I'm going back in with the highlighter shade, which is so beautiful, from the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow palette. It's just a great palette that you can just take on holiday and it'll do you for everything. Going on the tops of my cheeks, um, going into the middle of my nose, and on the tiny bits of my temples, on the cupid's bow, and then anywhere else you feel that you want to glow. Especially now with the summer, I feel like you get away with putting highlighter everywhere. Um, and I'm also just putting that on the very tips of um, my eyes, just underneath my eyebrows, using the Zoeva 237 brush. I do apologise, I've just realised I haven't been telling you the brushes um, that I'm using my face, my eyes. But for the smudger there, I'm using the Zoeva 226 smudger. Again, I shall put all the links in the description box, but all the eye um, brushes I'm using are mainly Zoeva. Then I'm using my MAC Extended Giga Black Lash in, uh, what are we, just normal black. And this is again my, one of my favourites. Now I'm using the MAC Lip Liner and I was in Spice, it was called. And then for my lipstick I am using the L'Oreal absolutely beautiful collection they have at the moment. Um, and it is the Colour Re Riche Eva's Delicate Rose. Such a lovely subtle pink, lovely for the summer, nice for a little barbecue. And then I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. My literal holy grail. Then again, what do you mean? Comes on. I cannot get enough of little Justin B. And then that is near enough my face all done. I'm just going to add more highlight because I am obsessed. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you can see that it's just a bit more of a natural glow. And I promise you, if you want it, I will give more dramatic looks. But at the moment, it's just all about the natural. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.